Hey team, uh, this video is brief. It will discuss the herbarium that you are responsible for turning in and a little bit about the format of the herbarium, how you're going to do it, and what I need from you. As it turns out, I don't need anything from week to week. What I'm asking you to do is to key out five species a week and that's going to be for about the next six weeks uh, approximately okay and then um, you know once you've done that and made labels for all of those you'll have um, you know 25 or 30 specimens if you do five a week I suppose if you were a procrastinator you could wait till the very last minute and try and do 25 or 30 all together in the lab in one week but I would recommend doing a little at a time this will give you practice with the key uh, it'll be a very uh, valuable lesson for you. So what is an herbarium and what, um, you know, what am I expecting of you for your herbarium? This herbarium is worth 500 points. It's worth a big chunk of, of your uh, points. And so I'm going to show you kind of the format of the herbarium. This is um, one that a student, uh, I've gotten permission from her to use uh, as an example. Uh, and you can see there's always, uh, for your herbarium, you wanna have a cover, uh, a cover slide. As far as you know, what you're going to use, what program, PowerPoint is great. If you can't afford PowerPoint or you don't have access to it, Google Slides is basically the same thing. It's a little less sophisticated, but it allows you to import a photo and then um, it allows you to put text you know, on the same slide. So basically each specimen is going to be a slide. Don't put more than one specimen per slide. So let's, um, let's just start the slideshow and I'm just going to show you a few of the slides. Um, here's the first one. And you can see um, the information that is required. The most important piece of information perhaps is the species name, in this case Monotropa uniflora. Now you know all about species having watched that video and you understand hopefully how the key works. I will tell you that key that you have does not have this species in it. Why not? because it's not a woody plant. So that, that key that you have only works for woody plants, uh, but you can include any plant that's native in your herbarium, okay? So if you wanna go out in the woods and take pictures of woody, uh, of herbaceous plants or, or you know, things like this, that's great, but you just have to then figure out what they are. You can do that by um, a variety of means. I'm sure you're all aware there are the photo apps. I wouldn't rely on those. That's kind of cheating. There are certainly Facebook groups and stuff like that where you could post a picture and someone would tell you what it was. But I encourage you to do a little more work than that if you can. Try to be inquisitive and wonder what this thing is, okay? Um, the other stuff that you must include on the label is here. You must include the common name if it applies. Oh, I'm sorry. Species and what's Ericaceae? That is the family. Okay. So it's in the Ericaceae or the Heath family, this particular plant. And then the common name, ghost pipe. Commonly called ghost pipe, this is a plant that doesn't make chlorophyll, which is kind of an interesting uh, idea. This plant is achlorophyllous. It doesn't make chlorophyll. It's actually a parasite or a saprode. Who collected it? And by collected, we're using that loosely. I understand it's a photograph. If you took the photograph, you should take the photograph. Don't go stealing images off of the internet and using them in your herbarium. I expect that everyone has a phone that they can use. If you don't have a phone or a camera that you can use, let me know and I will provide you with something or some alternative, okay? It doesn't have to be a professional quality photo. The county and state is the way that we organize herbariums in the United States. And so if you collected it in Madison County, put Madison County. If you collected it in Buncombe County, put Buncombe County, okay? The date that it was collected, why is that useful? Well, it tells you that on this date, this plant looks like this at this location. It tells you something about its flowering time and stuff like that. So it's actually very useful. 
Got to loosen my cast. Hang on. Remember, I got a broken foot. Jeez Louise, broke my foot. Okay. And then a brief description. Brief as in one sentence. Rich acidic cove hardwoods forest at 3,500 feet. That would be an example. The elevation is not necessary, but it's a nice thing to have. Okay, let's look at another one. So common name, who collected it, the county, the date, and a brief description. Here's another one. Now this one would be in your key. This is Pinus strobus in the Pinaceae or the pine family, right? Uh, common name is Eastern White Pine, collected by Joseph Falawas, Buncombe County, date collected. And then for the brief description, it says near maintenance building on campus of AB Tech. Okay. This is what you're going to be doing for the next six weeks for lab. I expect you're going to go outside, you're going to take pictures, you're going to come back, download them, start making your herbarium because at the end of the six week period, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to be calling you for your herbariums to turn in. You're going to actually turn those into me for uh, as an assignment. And um, I'm going to um, use those uh, or give you a grade on those. So those are going to be worth 500 points uh, of your final grade. So it's a big chunk of change. Please don't wait till the last minute. I realize that you're kind of on your own with this on the labs. Normally we would be going out together, going on field trips. I tried to make that happen. They would not let me uh, meet with y'all on any level. I, I, I believe me, I tried to advocate for y'all. It just didn't work out. So. Uh, this is what we are left with. Um, you know, if you have a friend that you're your COVID pal with and you want to get together with your friend and go learn some plants, that's great. Uh, one th other thing I'm going to mention to you, you may not, repeat, you may not go to somewhere where everything is labeled like the botanical gardens at UNCA or the Arboretum. You may not go there and take pictures of plants that are already labeled. That's definitely cheating. And believe me, I know what these plants look like in, in these different places because I've seen them a million times. So don't cheat. This is a learning experience, okay? The other thing I'll tell you is um, try your best to keep it to native plants. And what that means is um, I'm not gonna restrict you to just doing the woody plants that are in your plant key, although the goal of this is to learn how to use the plant key through the going through the steps in the process. But if you wanna use herbaceous plants, that's fine, like I said before. However, avoid yard plants that, you, that are not native. You know, native and naturalized is what we're going for. What we mean by naturalized is a species that is not native, but is now part of our flora because it has been introduced um, and it's not going anywhere. It's become a stable part of the flora, even though it wasn't originally native, it was brought here. Uh, so naturalized plants are everywhere and they're fine. Avoid things like obviously tropical house plants and stuff like that, okay? The idea is we're trying to learn the native flora. And so the way to learn the native flora is to spend some time looking at it, okay? I think that pretty much covers everything. If you have additional questions, please let me know. You can always rewatch this video in order to see what is required on the label. It doesn't have to be this exact layout. You can do, you know, whatever you want, be creative. The, the type can actually be over the picture if it doesn't obscure it and stuff like that, okay? All right, team. Take care of yourselves, stay well.